I have a Canon lens here. It's a EFS 1855mm. And this lens, I've broken the bayonet on it. The camera fell to the ground. It's a really good reason why you should make sure that you don't um, don't leave your lenses or your cameras on the tripod when you're not filming. And um, anyway, it fell over and it snapped the bayonet here. Now, if I were to send this back to a uh, professional repair person, it would cost me the same amount as it would cost me to buy a new lens. They said it would cost me a hundred to two hundred dollars. However, I went on to Alibaba and I bought this which is a replacement for it. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to see if I can repair it myself and I'll release the results regardless of how that goes. Anyway, this video could end with me telling you not to try to repair it yourself and always just trust the professionals or it could end with me showing you how to repair this lens. Okay, so, what I've done is I've gone online and I've purchased myself one of these small screwdriver sets. The reason I've done this is because it is really difficult to get this off with any regular screwdrivers. You'll notice that I don't know if I can get this to focus. You'll notice that there are two very tiny little screws there, and those can be very difficult to find without the correct piece. Take out those two extremely tiny little bolts. Like that. Now these tiny little bolts. Let's see if I can focus that back up. These tiny little bolts are the most important part. So make sure that you don't lose them. There's two bolts here, and those are bolting in some kind of sensor. Extremely tiny little bolts. And then what you can do is you can change upper size and unbolt these bits at the top here. To be perfectly honest, with the amount of time that I had to cut out just to get this one bolt out, it might have been worth it to get someone professional to actually get the bolts out. Although that could be due to age. Now this should simply slip off like that, revealing the inner workings, which I am not going to pull apart because I don't know anything about how these inner workings work. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this broken bayonet here, put it away, slip this one that I got on AliExpress over the top, like so, and then put the bolts back in. I now have the four main bolts of the lens cap in and now I'm going to install the two very small bolts into the side of the sensor. I'm going to put those in too hard because the bolts are so small that I really don't want to ruin the, uh, the grabbing on it. This is why you need to be so careful with these bolts. Just drop the bolt and I couldn't even see where it went. If this bolt goes onto the floor, that's the end of that bolt. There we go, I got it in there. Now the lens is back together, so here's the test. We've got the, we've got the back end lens cap. That goes on nice and snugly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to attempt to put this lens onto my camera 
and then turn it on and see if I have solved the problem by replacing the bayonet ring. Overall this bayonet ring seems slightly cheaper as it doesn't have, um, it's not glossed, it sort of looks like it might have been 3D printed, but if it f works then, then it saved me at least $160. So now I'm going to see whether the whether the fixed with the new bayonet ring will actually mount into the into the uh, EOS 700D camera. You can see that we've got the white square lined up with the white square there, and then we just turn it. and it should have clicked. Now is the crowning moment. Turn on the camera to video mode. Take off the lens cap. That seems to be working. Let's test the autofocus. That's with the new cap on, and so let's just focus right in. And tapping on the screen has made it autofocus correctly. So that's how you fix a Canon lens when it's just the bayonet ring that is broken. Oi! Don't skip the end scene. First I need you to see this button here, see that button there, smack that button! And then, see this little thing next to it? You gotta do this little ring this, ring the shit out of it! Ring the notification bell, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.